Unwilling killing of Boar by Rhaenyra may have a dark secret about the future of her brother. Explained. Before we begin, beware of dragon-sized spoilers that are coming up ahead. Therefore, stay here at your own risk, or fly away. So, Rhaenyra Targaryen was once known as the Realm's Delight, and quite true to this nickname, she was indeed a loving daughter, a good woman, and a gentle princess. But Rhaenyra is not remembered much by historians who wrote the histories of Westeros. What went wrong? Well, time is a terrible teacher, and while it transforms some for the better, it leaves the others as minions of hell. The curious case of Rhaenyra Targaryen began when King Viserys named her Princess of Dragonstone, an heir to the Iron Throne. But she was a woman, and no woman had previously ascended to the Iron Throne as its rightful heir. Since Westeros was a society not much different from medieval England, patriarchy was the norm, but Rhaenyra was far from someone who would bow down to such mindsets. So, she fought for what she thought was rightfully hers, and it led to the tragic event called the Dance of Dragons, a civil war that nearly devastated House Targaryen. But how did the realm's delight turn into a force that was half responsible for the deaths of numerous dragons? When exactly did she quit being a good princess to transform into a headstrong and ruthless woman? In this video, we will explore the one incident that we think was the turning point in Rhaenyra's life. Let's Dracarys. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Boys squeal like children when they're being slaughtered. I find it discomforting. Dying boars squeal like children. In the first episode of the show, King Viserys named Rhaenyra his heir after his son Balon died soon after his birth, and Prince Daemon proved himself unworthy of becoming king. The third episode of House of the Dragon begins with Viserys celebrating the second name day of his son Aegon from his second wife Alicent Hightower. Aegon had been desperate for a son so much so that he allowed the death of his first wife, Aemma Arryn. Quite obviously, the situation troubled Rhaenyra because King Viserys seemed to love the little boy more than anything in this world, and for as long as Rhaenyra could remember, Viserys wanted a son. Furthermore, she had been betrayed by her closest friend and confidant, Alicent. Naturally, Rhaenyra found herself stuck between a rock and a hard place. It could be at any moment that Viserys would supplant Rhaenyra in favor of Aegon. Amidst the situation, Viserys decided to celebrate his son's second name day by going for a royal hunt. But the king wanted his entire family to come along with him, including Alicent, who was pregnant with a second child, and Rhaenyra. On their journey to the Kingswood, Viserys asked Rhaenyra to join him in the chase, but Rhaenyra refuses, claiming that Boys screw like children when they're being slaughtered. <laughs> Find it discomforting. So it seems that Rhaenyra still fits her title of the realm's delight. She was still someone who cared about children and did not particularly enjoy taking innocent life, but for how long would she remain good and righteous in the face of imminent doom? The Transformation Later in the episode, Jason Lannister approached Rhaenyra and offered her his hand in marriage. Now, although he was the lord of one of the richest houses in all of Westeros, he wouldn't dare propose to the princess without the king's knowledge. Rhaenyra was utterly displeased with whatever Jason had to say. She felt that now that Aegon was born, her father wanted to ship her off to a wealthy and powerful house. She confronted Viserys about it and learned that he too was interested in her match with Jason. A seriously angry Rhaenyra left the king's tent, got on her horse, and rode away. Sir Criston Cole, the knight she had named to the king's guard, was quick enough to see this and rode after her. After much ado, Criston was able to stop Rhaenyra and requested her to return, but Rhaenyra refused, insisting that the woods were lovely, dark, and deep. Oh wait, that was Robert Frost. She simply said, beautiful day. We should take in the king's woods. And of course, Kristen did not refuse the princess's offer to spend the night in the forest. Someone probably wanted to score, or maybe not. Later that night, while Kristen and Rhaenyra were talking about her acceptance as queen by the realm, they heard some disturbance in nearby bushes. Kristen picks up his sword and approaches the bushes, only to be knocked down by a wild boar charging straight at him. 
The boar then went to attack Rhaenyra. The 18-year-old tried her best to defend herself, and this was long enough window for Sir Criston to strike the boar and slay it. Interestingly, she held her ground more than Great King Robert could. Even Robert had a decorated and veteran knight like Sir Ferriston Selmy, someone who could have protected him, but it was Robert himself who was responsible for his death. Nevertheless, the boar then makes one final move as its life was passing away, but Rhaenyra butchered the already dying boar. She struck the boar a total of 10 times before putting away the knife. So if you read between the lines, Rhaenyra was now prepared to do just about anything to ensure that she got what was hers, no matter the cost. And irrespective of those who stood between her and the things she desired, Rhaenyra had previously mentioned that boars squealed like children, and she did that when Aegon was in her vicinity. But now, the squealing children do not quite discomfort her. The boar could be taken as a metaphor for Aegon's future claim to the Iron Throne, under the influence of his mother, Alicent. And Rhaenyra's attack on the boar could be representative of the Dance of the Dragons. Well, this is quite obviously what a humble man like me believes, and there could be more to the boar symbolism than what I just concluded. Do let me know if you agree with me or not. If not, what do you think about the significance of the boar? And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone. Why must every effort on your behalf be resisted, as if to the death? Because you mean to replace me. You have misjudged me, Rhaenyra. Oh, know it.